Hey guys, welcome to the channel of Adventures of Carlian, where we're always pursuing our passions and trying to improve ourselves a little bit every day. Now, if you're all for that, give us a subscribe, hit the bell so that you know when we're posting our video. Recently, we launched our new pasta series, which you can find uh, in one of these corners, but we'll also link it in the description for the whole playlist. But we just launched this series where we're trying to learn all our favorite pastas from the Italian ones to the Asian ones to all kinds of pastas. While testing our egg pasta recipe, we had an old pasta machine that was kind of bought at a home goods. It wasn't really doing very well. It wasn't cutting our dough pretty much at all. Like we would have to, we would roll it out, try to put it through the fettuccine cutter, and then we would still have to rip it. Yeah, it, it just wasn't, it just wasn't. We searched the interwebs to see which one was a good one that was also very affordable. And well, welcome the Mercado Atlas 150. It's the most popular machine for making fresh homemade pasta. So why is this machine or a pasta machine important? There are different price ranges of pasta makers from the hundreds to just before the hundreds to extremely cheap. And it's very important that you don't go the extremely cheap route. Sometimes they're poorly made, obviously why they're cheap. Sometimes the rollers aren't very well made, obviously very cheapness. Sometimes when you roll fettuccine, it just doesn't doesn't cut, obviously very cheap. The dough or how wet your dough might play into that. So at that point, it won't matter what machine you have, it still wouldn't cut. Don't be one of those people that walk through Home Goods or TJ Maxx or Ross or whatever. You see a $15, $99 pasta machine, obviously very cheap, and get really excited and buy it and then go home and it's crap. Don't be that person. Cause we were. The Mercado Atlas 150 kind of saved the day. It replaced ours. I threw it in the garbage. The old one, not the Atlas 150. You don't do that to that. It's great. So some of the features and benefits of this particular machine are that it has 10 positions on the knobby thing to control your or adjust your thickness of dough. Out of the box, you can make three different shapes, your lasagna shape, your fettuccine, and your tagliolini, and your tagliolini pasta. It also comes with a bunch of other, not comes with, but you can purchase other accessories to make different shapes of pastas, which is great. So they've got a whole line of accessories that you can pick. They have a number of colors that you can pick because everybody likes color. This thing is very easy and straightforward to set up. It's also very simple to clean. And the thing is, it's extremely stable because of the rubber screwed feet. So that thing's not gonna move on you. And finally, there's a 10 year warranty on this. Like. That's a lot of pasta to make. Real quick, we're gonna go over how to set this up. It's very easy. And then I'll show you how to clean it. It's very simple. To set up your pasta maker, set the machine on the edge of the table. Insert the C-clamp and screw to tighten. Insert the handle in the hole next to the rollers. Then slide the pasta attachment right in the hooks on the pasta roller and you're good to go. To clean the pasta maker or your pasta cutter in particular, flip it over and press down on these metal rods and slide one side out to remove. These plastic dividers or casings should fall right out or come off fairly easily. Then take a nice brush and clean thoroughly taking out all the old flour and pasta bits off. To reassemble your machine, take note of the space on each side of the roller. There is a specific way to insert your plastic dividers or scraper back into the machine. To fit the rollers back in, go ahead and insert into one hole, press it firmly downwards, and then slide the other side into the other hole. For the fettuccine cutter, it's exactly the same thing. Take note of the space on the sides, insert the divider scraper, and then put the rod in. Now you've successfully cleaned your pasta maker. So that's the Mercado 
Atlas 150. It's a great pasta machine. Honestly, it's made a huge difference from switching from this cheapo home goods pasta machine to this. It cuts really well. The knobs are smooth. The hand crank is comfortable. Everything about it we love. We've only just started using it. We'll update you as we go if we find anything else, but in 10 years, we'll let you know. We'll do another long-term review since uh, the <laughs> warranty is going to be up then. We'll let you know how the, the 10 years has gone with the Mercado Atlas 150. Click the subscribe, follow us, and make a note on your calendar 10 years and then come back and listen to what we gotta say. That's all I have. Make sure to follow our socials. If you like this video, give us a thumbs like, hit us up on scene, we can talk about this machine. Uh, ooh, that was kind of a wrap. <laughs> we'll just see you guys on the next one. Peace.